Tanya thoughts for the 23rd of Adar. We have a basic question. Why does my delicate, pure, innocent, godly soul have to interact with my crass, greedy animal soul? He's never going to change. Why can't I park my animal soul outside? I'll go in, dive in, study Torah. Then my animal soul can take over for lunch and sleeping. The godly soul will stay in his lane. The animal soul in his. The Tanya reorients our thinking. Stop viewing the animal soul as a burden and realize it is the mechanism for mitzvah actions. When my godly soul compels my animal soul to do mitzvah acts, it achieves something special. It illustrates that nothing, not even this big burly animal soul, will keep Hashem out.